she's still hustling. She just can't hustle her fake fitness influencer tag now. She hustling in the name of the Lord. Help yourself, Holy Ghost. Say it ain't so. YouTube social media influencer Brittany Don Davis, who is accused of scamming thousands of people, is planning a spiritual retreat. According to the Fort Worth Star Telegram, Brittany Don Davis is a self described fitness influencer who is accused of scamming thousands of customers through promises of customized diet and exercise plan. According to the lawsuit of the Texas Attorney General's Office, Davis did not provide individualized plans. And as of this moment, Brittany, who has scammed thousands of people, is in the process of planning a spiritual retreat in the month of April. It goes on to say, Brittany sold online fitness packages to thousands of consumers through social media and her business, Brittany Dawn Fitness. The packages range in cost from $92 to $300 and promise personalized training and coaching. However, according to a Deceptive Trade Practices Act lawsuit filed by Texas Attorney General's Office on February 1st in Dallas County, the plans were not personalized and caused more harm to consumers than good. And then it says Davis could not immediately be reached for comment. Of course not. She's getting ready to go on a spiritual retreat. Now ain't that nice? She's using that money to keep her spiritual well-being in check. Hmm. And according to Yahoo Insider, it said that she falsely claims specialist knowledge of helping people with eating disorders. And she had no specialist knowledge, none whatsoever. So she still has a YouTube channel. She still has a large following. She's still getting paid after scamming thousands of people out of their money. Y'all. There are so many scams on YouTube. It is just unimaginable, the scams and the hustles. I can be in someone's live stream and I immediately know when they're running a the game, when they just got a hustle going on because they have these long live streams to keep getting super chats. They have like three, four and five hour live streams just because they want those super chats to keep coming in. A lot of them are good because they have the gift of gab they know how to speak, they know how to let their words flow. And this guy is a straight up hustler. And he's hustling a lot of people. And I realize his easiest target is women. Because while he's super chatting, those women are coming, oh, you look nice, give him a donation. And then he takes it past the super chats. Oh, he's in his live stream saying, y'all buy my course, $500. You can use this code and get so much off. $500 for some information that you can find out for free how to be successful on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube. All of that's on YouTube. That's free information that you don't have to pay $50 for, let alone $500. And this guy is straight up hustling people. And it's a game, and oh, I be recognizing it, y'all. I grew up in a poor neighborhood. I saw hustlers all the time on the street corner, downtown, so I recognize hustle. And even though this is a different type of hustle, it's still a hustle, it's a scam. And I'm going to tell you what one of their rules are, how they get you to give them money. I'm going to tell you how they get you and how they have people helping them in their live stream to make you give him your money. This happened to me when I was a teenager. I used to ride the city bus a lot and I would have to go downtown, catch another bus to get to my job. Coming from my job, I would have to go downtown, catch another bus to get home. This particular day, I was waiting on my bus. I was coming from work, waiting on my bus to come the bus to take me home. I'm pretty sure many of y'all have seen this game where it's something under this lid or top of something and they scrambling them around and you gotta pick the lid that it's under. And This is a real popular hustle coming up where I'm from. But I learned the hard way that it was a hustle. So they're scrambling around and you pick the top that the ball or whatever, rock or whatever is under. Then you pick the right ball, you get $20. So I'm standing waiting on the bus and I see this guy doing the game. And that's the lady, she's playing. And he's saying, which one, which one, which one is it? He's moving his hand. And I believe they spotted me. So they knew that they were gonna be able to give me. They knew I was green. 
because they knew that I was going to pay attention to what they were doing. And they know how to spot the naive people, the people that don't recognize the game. And they spotted me that day. They saw me coming. So I'm sitting there watching the lady play the game. They know I'm watching them. So the lady, she picks the, the right lid and the ball or whatever is under that lid. And she goes, oh, yeah, I want $20. I want $20. Me, I'm looking, wow. She just won $20 just that fast. She picked the right top that the thing is under. I'll try. Let me get a go at it. Right up this alley. So he said, okay, look, look, look. He's doing the thing and I'm looking. I'm watching. I'm just knowing I'm about to give me $20. If it ain't under there, you got to give me $20. i am like, okay, I know I'm about to win this. I'm watching, I'm watching. And But then I had 20-20 vision. Yeah, I'm about to get this ball. So I'm looking. That one. He raised that top up. My $20 was in my hand. Oh, sorry, baby girl, you lost. They got me in less than five minutes. Right after I lost, my bus was coming. Y'all, I was so sick. I was so disgusted because $20 was a lot of money back then. So I just got on the bus, you know, discouraged, depressed. And a guy got on the bus behind me. And he said, I was trying to motion and tell you not to play that, don't play that game. He said, the lady that looked like she won, she was with him, they was in it together, they working together. And I was like, for real? They got me. And that's why I'm saying I recognize the game when I see it on these YouTube streets. Because in the live stream, this particular guy's live stream, while he's live, he said, oh, thank you, um, so-and-so, they um, bought my class. And they think it's really, good things and saying y'all need to get it to get my class and right now you can use this code and it's it's half price you can get it for 250. learn how to make money on youtube be successful on youtube so there's people in the in his comments on his live stream making these comments oh i bought your class it was so helpful thank you thank you. i'm gonna come to another class it was well worth my money i believe with everything in me he has a few people that comes to his live stream. He called him, tell me y'all about to be live. Come on, let's do this. They put in the comments saying that they purchased his class and they're typing in the comments how it's just so worth it, how they learn so much, how it's already helping them. Oh, what a deal. Looking like, oh wow, his class is really getting some good reviews. Oh, and he got a discount code. I can get it for 250 so let me go on and sign up. Go to my website, such and such and such, and put in this code in and get it for 250 this guy does this almost every day. Almost every day he goes live for three and four hours. And mind you, while he's live, he's steady getting super chats. And he's getting people to sign up for his class for the bargain price of $250 when you use this discount code. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a content creator. And I'm telling y'all, do not pay for something that you can get for free. There are so many videos on YouTube that tell you how to be successful, how to start a YouTube channel. You do not need to pay $500. You don't need to pay $250. You don't need to pay $50. You don't even need to pay $5 because that information is free. It's already on YouTube. Other successful YouTubers have put videos up for you to see that they're not charging anything for. But there are so many scams on YouTube. Then it gets to be not just super chat, not just buy my course. Then it's join my Patreon. My Patreon for this small amount of money a month. And most of them are people that have a large number of subscribers because they know that with all of those subscribers that they have, even if 10% of them get it, that's still a win-win for them. I remember when Tasha K first started her Patreon and she was saying, y'all come to my Patreon if y'all want the real tea and see all the receipts about celebrities. I was like, I wish the hell I would pay somebody to give me information about a celebrity. Somebody that I know nothing about, may never even see in my life, but they want me to pay just to hear a story about them that the rest of the world don't know. And you know, if it was Tasha K, it was probably a lot. Before you buy someone's course, because you think they're so good, just Google it. Because a majority of the time, you can get that information that they're gonna charge you for, for free. Just like this girl, Brittany, she's still hustling. 
She just changed hustles. She's hustling now in the name of the Lord. Y'all be careful out of these YouTube streets with your hard earned money. Hey y'all, and I am back. It is a new day. As you can see, it's daylight. I can finally film in the daytime and have some natural lighting. But the first portion of this video was filmed late at night and I got sleepy, so I was kind of rushing trying to go ahead and finish the video. But lucky for me, today I have time to film during the daytime. So I felt compelled to come back on and give you more information about how to recognize scammers and hustlers in these YouTube streets. There are some YouTubers that get greedy and they start making money on YouTube and they start kind of feeling entitled and they start to feel like their subscribers owe them just because they're watching them on YouTube and they try to get their subscribers into giving them money, into cash apping them, sending them PayPal, sending them gifts through the mail, donations or whatever. And they'll also play on their subscribers' sympathy. And I've noticed this with YouTubers that I've watched, channels I've supported. There are some channels that offer genuine services for reasonable fees, but there are really a lot of scammers and hustlers on YouTube. Okay, so as I said, there are some YouTubers that once they start making money, they start to feel entitled and they start to feel like their subscribers owe them something just because they're watching them on YouTube, watching them on the TV or video or on their phone whatever they're watching them on, they can get greedy and they can get big headed. They'll start telling you to send them money for things that they would normally do. For but being a supporter of YouTube channels, when I see a person that does that on their YouTube channel, it turns me off from their channel and it turns me off quick. That's a good way to lose me as a supporter. I may not unsubscribe from the channel, but I will stop watching. I think it's very wrong to try to guilt your subscribers into giving you money simply because they're watching you. YouTube is a free platform. And YouTube also offers so many avenues. And especially if that person's channel was, you know, really good, they draw people in, they make people laugh, made people feel good, but then all of a sudden, every time you're on YouTube, you're begging. I feel like if your subscribers want to give to you, then that's great, that's fine, I'm all for that. But let them do it because it's in their heart to give to you, not because you guilted them or made them feel like they have to give to you just because they're watching you. And some subscribers will do that because there are some subscribers that will give out of guilt. They're afraid, oh, they're not gonna do that thing no more. Let me give them this. Your subscribers could be struggling financially. You don't know their financial situation. It's very wrong to get on this platform and guilt people into giving you. They could have been watching you because they are having a hard time. They could have been watching you because you lifted their spirits. You made them smile on a struggling day when they're having a tough time. And to start guilting them and to make them feel like, oh, if you want to keep feeling good, if you want to keep watching me and be happy, you better give me this money or I'm going to stop. Or y'all not sending no PayPal, well, I'm not going to do it. Those people, mm -mm. If you're watching a channel where the content creator is constantly begging you for money and trying to make you feel bad, just click off. They can do other things without begging their subscribers for money. There's AdSense, of course. They can have channel memberships. They can have sponsored videos. They can have brand deals. Once a channel grows and reaches a certain plateau, there's so many other means of making income. Then there's the oh, woe is me YouTuber. A YouTuber that's always going through something and they need their subscribers help to get through. Oh yes, that's a hustle. That's a scam. I'm not saying that everybody lies and creates scams, but if you're watching a YouTube channel and that person is always going through something, always needing their subscribers to help them get through something or they need this, they want you to help them buy this. Oh, I need this for my channel, y'all. Oh, I need StreamYard so I can go live with y'all. I can get this guest on the show. If somebody wants to sponsor my StreamYard, if somebody wants to sponsor this laptop, or I'm going through this, we had a death in the family and y'all, we ain't gonna be able to bury you. And oh, I went to the hospital and then I can't do this, I can't do that. That's the sympathy scam. When they play on your kindness and they always going through something and need their subscribers to help them get out of this ditch or get out of this bad situation. If that YouTuber that you're watching is constantly having these dire situations where they need their subscribers to help them, they doing that on a continuous basis, they scamming you. It's nine times out of 10, if they have a large number of subscribers, some of their subscribers are gonna buy those stories over and over, and they're gonna keep giving over and over. And they could be in situations themselves where they need the money. 
but there are people that will give their last to somebody that they watch and that they love that they're seeing on YouTube they'll give them their last and they'll go without and there are some YouTubers that simply don't care about their subscriber situation they don't know they don't want to know all they want their subscribers to do is keep giving them money and they will continue to come up with sympathetic stories because they know that there's a subscriber more than one maybe more than two that's gonna give it to them so y'all beware in these YouTube streets so if you're watching this video and then you go cruising these YouTube streets and you black like, oh let me get this course and then once you get the course it ain't even nothing or you find out it's something you could have got for free don't say Tara didn't tell you because Tara done told you mm-hmm